the hat. Come on, sign the card. You go to heaven. Because all that you've ever expected out of this thing was misery until finally you dropped dead and went to heaven. And you showed up because maybe there is such a place. Not knowing that you were supposed to create the heaven here on this earth by changing it, by making a change. Here's a man that came 4,000 years ago and spoke of this change that could be made by you. And you know what? Not one of your preachers, not one of your pastors ever mentioned his name. You had no idea. If some guy wrote a, an obscure symphony somewhere, so it all starts to practice the thruster, you don't even know, never even heard of it. It's not interesting to you. It's not that there was anything. Jesus Christ never said anything new. His name wasn't even Je Jehoshua. Never said anything new. Everything he said came from somebody else. And the person that said it before him got it from somebody else. And it all traces itself back. And you can trace it back to the very, very beginning. Whenever the big burp happened and all of this stuff started coming down all over the earth. And we said, Here's the answer. This is what you do. This is what you do. And so what do we do? The thing that is apparent is that all of the aspects of Christianity are the same aspects that came from Zoroaster one to two thousand years before Jesus was born. What I'm saying to you is everything that you'll find in the Bible attributed to Jesus Christ originated with this strange voice that came out of Iran one thousand to two thousand years before Jesus was born. The influences of this prophet and Ahira Mazda are mind-boggling when you consider the impact that they had on the Judeo-Christian ethic, directly related to Zoroaster and to Hiro Mazda. Let me tell you what Zoroaster was responsible for. Do you believe, I know you do, or at least the religious do, the Christians do, that Moses originated the Ten Commandments? No, he didn't. No, he did not. They were originated by a gentleman by the name of Ezra. And Ezra was the Jew who was in captivity in Babylon. And Ezra became a follower of Zoroaster and the Hura Mazda. And Ezra became proficient. Do you know that prior to coming into captivity in Babylon, God's chosen people wandered around collecting rocks? They knew nothing, they accomplished nothing, they wrote nothing. They were rock pilers. Split rocks, moved rocks, and wandered. And what did they do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. And I'm going to get there. I'm at the promised land. Here I am. I'm getting busy. Where is it? And they wind up in Babylon. And you know what happened when they wind up in Babylon? They come out as scholars. They went to the pagan Babylon of Zoroaster and the God's chosen people that were rock splitters came out of Babylon as scholars. And this one here came out with the law. And this is the Ten Commandments that you read in the Bible were authored by Ezra in Babylon under the stewardship of Zoroaster, the god of Hiro Mazda, and the great king of Iran, Artaxerxes. The temple! <laughs> Why, the temple was constructed as, this is the whole thing. It's going to rebuild the temple, the temple of the Jews. Tell you, who was responsible for reconstructing the temple of the Jews? Our friend, Zoroaster. Had nothing to do with the Jews. Had nothing to do with Moses. Had nothing to do with Jerry Falwell. Had nothing to do with the Christians or the Catholics or the Protestants. It had to do with the strange voice that came out of Iran thousands of years ago. And this voice came down to the king of Persia. The king of Iran, whose name was... Cyrus, and he said, build the temple. He was a follower of Zoroaster and Ahira Mazda. <laughs> the one you know is Jesus. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how sweet the flows. It came upon a midnight clear. Oh, the holy night. Ba, 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 ba. And then the big part of this thing. We three kings of Orient are. Blop, blop, blop. Here in a jar. <laughs> Guess where they came from? Guess where they came Do you know who the three kings were? The Magi. <coughs> Do you know who was the Persian prophet prince of the tribe of Magi? Zoroaster. What have you got that's original, Christian? Fakakta, you got nothing. 
You originated nothing. You originated not the law. It was originated through Zoroaster. You originated not the temple. It was originated through Zoroaster. And you didn't even originate the kingship of Jesus Christ. It was originated through Zoroaster. And I'll tell you what Zoroaster was. The Persian prophet, prince of the Magi, they were astrologers. That's why it said, we have seen his star in the east. Meaning, in Iran, in Persia, we have studied the stars, we understand them, and we see the sign Koma 